Today, I'm going for the Platinum Trophy in Trials Rising. This game is all about balancing on your bike by leaning either forwards or backwards, trying to get the best possible time on a track, and one small mistake like this can end a really good run. No, man, no, man. I'll have to go through every track and get a gold medal on each one for the Golden Hero Trophy, starting with beginner level tracks, then easy, medium, hard, and extreme level tracks that get so incredibly difficult that I was questioning if this Platinum was even possible. Oh, this game, this game is so annoying, man. But before all of that, we have to start at the beginning where I had to build up every skill to even have a chance at the Platinum. This was my very first track of the game called Breaking Bad. It's a beginner level track that got me comfortable with some of the movements. And this is also where I picked up my first trophy for jumping through a ring of fire right here. Was that too early? No, I think I got it. Nice training ring. That was perfect timing. After going through some more tracks, I unlocked the Stadium Finals, which is a race against other riders, and this would lead to my next trophy called No Contest. For this, I have to come first place in three different races. This was my final race I needed to win, and it turned out to be a one versus one for the trophy, but I ended up leaving this guy in the dust. Oh, I'm good, I'm good. Let's go, No Contest trophy earned. At this point in the game, I had some experience, so I thought I would attempt the unicycle trophy. For this, I had to perform a 100 meter wheelie. In the bottom left, you can see my exact inputs, and this trophy really showed me I was nowhere near good at the game yet, because I would either lean too far back and crash, or my front wheel would touch the ground way too early. But with each attempt, I was getting better at it, so it was only a matter of time before I got the trophy. Here we go, here we go. Oh my god, yes. Come on, yes, unicycle. I did it! After that unicycle trophy, I continued on through the medium levels with some frustrating moments, but overall it wasn't too bad. I was able to keep getting my gold medals on each of the medium tracks, and remember I need a gold medal on all of the tracks if I wanted that golden hero trophy later on. And now I was on to the hard level tracks at this point, and this is where the game really starts to ramp up in difficulty. It was tracks like Rally of the Kings that really started to test my patience, and even on the Springs track I had been failing on the final obstacle multiple times, and I was wondering if I would even be good enough to finish all the gold medals and then I got to the Shanghai track where I finally lost my patience what how do you have five faults like it's so over man I'm never gonna get the gold like this I'm so bad <sighs> I hate being bad I <clears throat> Well, clearly I wasn't ready to take on some of these tracks yet, so what I had to do was go to the University of Trials. This was 12 different tracks that would teach me everything I needed to know about the mechanics of the game, like this track called Transitions, where I would have to correctly shift my body weight from the back of the ramp all the way to the front and land on top of the platform, and each checkpoint gets increasingly harder. And every university track I'm able to complete will give me an A plus grade, this leads me into my next trophy called Master's Degree. For this, I'll have to complete every single university track with an A-plus grade. I didn't realize what I was getting myself into because let me tell you, some of these tracks are very difficult. Like this track called Consecutive Bunny Hops. The goal here was to bunny hop from platform to platform, and I was off to a pretty decent start right here. Oh, that was beautiful! I'm learning! And that's where my fun ended because after I got to that checkpoint, I just kept failing over and over again. And this was really starting to frustrate me. As you'll see here, I failed so many times that I reached 466 faults and had over an hour of playtime. And since I played the track for so long, the game eventually ended up timing me out right here, which I wasn't too happy about. Oh, that is so annoying. I gotta restart again all the way at the beginning so i had to replay the entire track again from the beginning since i timed out and after hours of attempts i finally was one checkpoint away from the finish line and with enough practice i managed to figure out the mechanics and just barely beat the track yes Finally! Oh my god, this is crazy. This next university track called Rear Wheel Bounce was my first extreme level, and it was even harder than the last track. I had to make sure my back wheel was at the perfect angle, and right when my back wheel touched the box, I had to bunny hop to the next one. This was just insane, and I lost track of how long this took me because I would have to keep taking breaks, otherwise I probably would have lost my mind. But finally, after thousands of faults, I built up the skill to beat the track and got another A plus grade, which brought me to my final university track called Time Trial. I had to go over these ramps at the perfect angle so I can finish the track in about 30 seconds or less to get my final A plus grade, which will get me the master's degree trophy. So let's see if I can do it. This actually should be pretty good. This one feels quick. I've gotten pretty good at it too. 
Okay, is that it? That's not an A+. I'm literally a sliver away from finishing this. <sighs> I can't believe how close I was to that A+, but this was my very next attempt. So let's see if I can finally get that master's degree trophy. This could be a good run, though. No, that was a mess up. No. Oh, I got it. Master's degree. Every single university track has been A+. -plused. After the university, I was definitely better at the game, so what I did was play through all the hard tracks getting gold medals, and went for all the miscellaneous trophies while doing that. But before I get into those trophies, I want to thank Surfshark VPN, the sponsor of today's video. Surfshark is an app and browser extension that uses encryption to keep all your online information private and secure, so those pesky hackers won't be able to snoop around for your files and data. Surfshark also has many great features, like being able to virtually change your connection on sites such as Netflix, just click the region of your choice like the US for example and now you have access to all the shows in that region it's really that simple another Surfshark feature which is my personal favorite is you can have one subscription and have access to unlimited devices so you can share with friends or family and everyone saves money plus with their 30-day money-back guarantee why wouldn't you try it you really got nothing to lose so if you want files and data protection check my link down in the description and use promo code RISEBON for an extra three months free if you're looking for a reliable VPN Surfshark is great for all your protection needs wherever you're located in the world and a big thanks once again to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video it really helps me keep making this content and hunt these trophies speaking of trophies I started with my first miscellaneous trophy ringmaster for this I had to fly through all the fire rings and these rings give me a small boost every time I fly through one of them so I can literally fly in the air I think I got it this time maybe go to the finish that should be the trophy yes ringmaster this next miscellaneous trophy was kind of funny. For some reason, when I grabbed this basketball, I started flying up a mountain, and at the time, I had no idea this was a trophy, but when I made it to the top, I found a basketball hoop, and I hit a quick dunk for the glam dunk trophy. There's also a trophy for doing seven flips and landing it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and land it. Feeling dizzy, nice. Got that one pretty easily right there. And this next trophy was absolutely ridiculous. I had to wear a snowman head and beat the track with no faults. Now this frozen track was only a medium level which was easy to complete with no faults, but the problem was the snowman head had some weight to it, so it would alter the physics and my leaning, so this really started to make me mad. See how it wobbles back and forth? That actually affects my movement, see? Oh my god, this is so annoying. And this was honestly just kind of embarrassing to just get taken out by a snowman head. And even on this next attempt, I got taken out by another snowman. Oh, I'm gonna fall on the snowman. That's so stupid. But eventually, I was finally able to figure it out. And with not too many attempts later, I was able to beat the track. And got it. Zero faults. Mr. Frosty, so that is zero faults with the snowman head on. And this brings me to my final miscellaneous trophy. Two is better than one. For this, I have to beat the Stonehenge track with zero faults, but there's a twist. In this game, you can choose between different bikes, and each bike has a different strength and weakness. For this trophy, I had to use the tandem bike, which required two people to ride the bike instead of one. Now you might be asking yourself, how am I going to get another player to help me? Well, I'm not. I'll be attempting this trophy solo with two controllers. With each controller, I'll have to accelerate at the same time using R2, while also leaning and sometimes having to hit the brake. I don't know how this is going to be possible. Oh, I was so close. No, I gotta restart now. Damn it. So as you can tell, this was not going to be easy with zero faults and two controllers, but on this next attempt, I made it back to checkpoint number four, and you'll notice here that my back wheel barely touches the ramp, which helped me get to the next platform, and this next jump wasn't that bad. I made it first try, and then to reach checkpoint seven, I had to jump over two explosive barrels, and look what happens right here. Jump. Please. Okay, okay. No. Why is this so hard? Many attempts later, I was able to pass that jump and made it to my farthest checkpoint yet. And at this point, I've never made it this far on the track, but I began to clutch up and started getting past each checkpoint until I reached checkpoint number 10. And I just went for this jump right here, which was so sketchy with two controllers, but I nailed it. So now I was on the final home stretch and I was only two checkpoints away from the finish line. Nice. Over this. No! That was a heartbreaking run for me, so what I had to do was take a break and reset my mental, and when I came back the next day, I made it to the exact same spot. Just make it over. Okay. Never been this far, never been this far, never been this far. 
Now all I had to do is make it to the top of the ramp and the finish line was right there, but I was really nervous. So let's see what happens. Chalked. I'm getting nervous. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, dude! Let's go! Two is better than one! That was so hard. Two controllers. Boom, done. You tell me. We're done with that one. I'm the fucking man. Now that I've gotten all the miscellaneous trophies and had all the gold medals on the hard tracks, it was time to hop right into the skills games. These are 10 different mini games that test different skills, like this track called Flaming Man where I'm literally on fire and have to make it as far as possible without burning. There's also a rodeo track where I have to stay balanced on top of this platform without falling off, and even a track where I have to make it over explosive barrels without dying. But there's two main trophies I'll be focusing on here. The first one I went for was Oh No Too Shiny. This trophy was for earning a diamond medal on a track. In this game, you can earn medals better than gold, which is platinum and then diamond. To get a diamond medal, I'll literally need a perfect run, and there's one track that's fairly easy to get this on, which was the Power Bike Skills game. And the way this game works is you'll notice on the left hand side that there's a bar, and each time I tap or hold the accelerate, it gives me a boost, but the bar decreases every time I use a boost, and if the bar empties, my bike will fall apart and I'll fail. Now the goal for me here was to make it all the way to the finish line for that diamond medal, and right when the finish line was in sight, I was running out of boost, so I had to clutch up right here. Oh, here's the finish. Oh, I did it. Nice. Oh no, too shiny. That's my first diamond medal. Right on. Let's go. That wasn't too bad, actually. Now I just needed the golden skillster trophy. All I had to do for this one was earn a gold medal on all the skills game tracks, which really wasn't that bad, but there's two tracks that caused me so much pain. The first track that was tough was the hill climb, and to get a gold medal, I have to reach a height of 200 meters. It's all uphill and there's no checkpoints, so one wrong move and I'll have to restart from the beginning. I even switched to the helium bike after hours of attempts, which is a really lightweight bike that helped me reach my farthest attempt yet right here. No, man, no, man, no, man. As you can probably tell, this was one of my hardest challenges I've done in the game so far, and at this point, I was just mad, so I really wasn't talking. You'll notice here, I was getting close to that 200 meters for the gold medal, and my front wheel gets stuck here. I really have no idea how I got out of this one, but it ended up working out, and I kept climbing, trying to take my time with each jump, until I finally completed the gold medal, and you can tell by my reaction right here how long this took. This is done. Just tell me that's a gold. I'm out of here. I'm done. I'm done with this map. And now I was on my final skills game called Loose Screw. This was so annoying because I had to wheelie all the way until about 150 meters to get my final gold medal. And there is green safe zones I can touch, but if my front wheel even touches the ground once, my bike explodes and I have to restart. I really thought this track was going to be impossible just because wheelies in this game were so hard for me, especially when I had to go over ramps as well, but then I found a bike called the Donkey where I could lean so far back until I got into a position where I was perfectly balanced. I have no idea how this was even possible, but I wasn't going to complain. Now this still wasn't easy by any means, but I knew with enough practice I could make this work eventually, and this is when I reached my farthest run yet. I had to make it over the ramp which was the hardest obstacle on the track so far. If I can do this, I'll get my final gold medal in the skills games and I'll get the golden skillster trophy. Oh, here we are, here we are. I'm getting somewhere now. Ride that, oh, maybe not. Well, that didn't last very long. It turns out the ramp was the only thing standing in my way of the gold medal. I kept failing on it multiple times. I would try out different techniques every time I got to the ramp and I slowly started learning over time how to control my bike. And with enough practice, this happened. <sighs> okay, everybody calm down. We can do this. Okay, here we go, here we go. For the trophy. Just gotta go like this. Go. Got it. Yes! Finally! Golden Skillster. And finally, after all that, I was given an invitation to the Race League. This is the toughest trials challenge in the game. These are extreme level tracks, and in order to get a gold medal on all these levels, I'll have to take everything I've learned throughout the game and apply it to these tracks. Every level has insane obstacles to overcome that could end a good run really at any moment, like this track called Corky Construction. This barrel at the end was brutal, and remember in the university where I was learning the technique to do the back wheel bunny hop? This is a great example of where I needed to use that technique to finish off the track for a gold medal. Yes! Did I do it? I think I did it. 
That took so long. Every extreme track is a huge learning curve and I had to play each track for so many hours to learn every obstacle so I could eventually get a good enough time to earn my gold medals. I practiced so much on the extreme levels but I was never able to complete an extreme track with no faults so that means this next trophy I was going for is going to be the hardest one in the game so far. For this trophy I had to complete an extreme level track with zero faults. I chose to try the no fault run on the Hong Kong Harbor track. This trophy is just cruel. I can't tell you how long this took me because I was practicing for at least a day or two. I would crash either in the middle of my run and have to restart and sometimes I couldn't even get past the first checkpoint. I was so mad after hours of attempts and I never think like this but I was actually worried I wouldn't be able to complete this platinum just because of this trophy. But eventually I got to checkpoint 7 and these stupid barrels would be the hardest obstacle to overcome. Go. No. No way. I was so good at that run, man. What? The fuck? As you can see, I was struggling pretty bad right here. And this was many attempts later where this happened. Here it is. Yes. Okay. I finally made that jump and this next jump really isn't difficult. The part I was worried about here was the triple barrel jump to make it across the finish line at the end. This was definitely the hardest jump on the entire track. No. No. Oh my god, no. You probably noticed at the end of that run I got a trophy. That trophy was for crashing just before the finish line on an extreme track. I really can't believe they even added a trophy like that in the game. So that means I still need a no fault run on the extreme track. I was feeling defeated but I hate giving up so I continued playing and kept crashing on even earlier checkpoints on the track. I think the fatigue was just starting to set in from playing the map over and over again until I took a little break and when I came back I started getting close to the end once again. Oh my god, dude. I really wanted to give up after that, but I gave it one last try and made it back to the final jump once again, and if I fail here, I'll definitely rage quit. Yes! I did it! Oh my god. There's no way. That was so sick. And now I was on the final extreme track, Inferno 5. This is the hardest track in the entire game. If I can complete this with a gold medal, I'll get two trophies. All sponsored out is for unlocking all sponsors. Basically just play through the game and complete challenges to get this. And the golden hero trophy is for unlocking every gold medal on each track. Now every checkpoint on Inferno 5 is a struggle. Like this one jump where I have to jump across and stick the landing on an incline while an explosive barrel starts rolling at me. I have to jump over the barrel and back wheel bunny hop on a small pipe to make it across. Yes, it gets that insane on this track and this killed my gold medal run so many times but I'll get back to that because first I gotta start at the beginning. Inferno 5 starts with an insane jump that I learned over time and it gets right into a triple hop to the next checkpoint. Each checkpoint you see me complete required hundreds of faults so I could get good enough to even attempt a gold medal and eventually I made it up this log and was onto a huge jump where I had to bounce off this obstacle and make it past the pipe. Luckily on this run it didn't take me too many attempts but that one jump can definitely end a good run. And these next two checkpoints require skill and precision. There's no way I'm this good, hold on. First try this for fun, for fun. Come on, come on. That's, that's what we like to see, right? Got the checkpoint, beautiful. At this moment you are witnessing my best attempt on this track and the gold medal was in sight, but I still had a ways to go. The next hard obstacle is the tires, and these were kicking my ass when I was practicing, but I managed to barely grip my back tire just enough to reach the checkpoint. Then I kept pushing forward until I reached this ramp that basically has no room for error. Somehow I first tried it and I hit checkpoint 11 after that, and at this moment I knew this gold medal was possible. And finally, I made it to this crazy obstacle that I was talking about earlier, and I ended up executing this attempt flawlessly. This means I was on the final checkpoint of the track, and to earn a gold medal, I needed a time under 7 minutes and 33 seconds. The only problem was, I really started to feel the pressure, and I kept faulting just before the finish line, so I had to focus up quick if I wanted that final gold medal and these trophies. There's no way I choke this. 
Go, go, go. Is that the gold? Tell me it's over. Golden hero, let's go. Oh my god. It feels so good to get that trophy. And we're all sponsored out. Every single sponsor has been unlocked in the game. Let's go. That was crazy. That map was definitely the hardest map in the entire game for me so far. And finally, after all that, I unlocked the ninja tracks, which are even harder than the extreme levels. These tracks literally seemed impossible. There's a total of six ninja tracks in the base game, and it starts at white belt difficulty and goes all the way to black belt difficulty. This is where I needed to earn my final trophy called Trials Ninja. For this, I had to beat any ninja track. Luckily, I don't have to get a gold medal, I just have to beat the track. So here I was attempting the white belt difficulty, and this was the craziest track I've ever seen. Every obstacle needed so much precision, and of course I had many fails, but I didn't feel like giving up because I was genuinely enjoying this game and getting better at it was addicting, so I kept pushing forward, then finally made it to the last checkpoint where the finish line was in sight. This final obstacle was so hard, but I slowly got more consistent, and I knew if I beat this, I would have the platinum trophy, which was just extra motivation, so let's see if I can do this. Yes. Oh, I'm getting actually good at that. Hold on, hold on. There it is. Oh. <laughs> yes. I did it, I did it. Let's go, Trials Ninja. And the Platinum is mine after so many hours of practicing. Rising Legend. Holy crap, I actually did it. That's insane, man. You guys were suggesting in the comments that I show my hours played, so for this game, it took me 90 hours to complete, as you can see in the bottom right. And if I quickly go to the trophy list, you'll see right here, Trials Rising, we got 100% completion on the base game. And there it is, Rising Legend, and that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see another video that I made, click on screen to view this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.